Good morning, Magnolia. I'm Todd Moore with the Moore team at eXp Realty. My wife Maria and I are uh, the sponsors for the Park Bench community website in Magnolia. And we're here this morning with Ulysses Laramendi, proprietor of Eden Cafe. Ulysses, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good. Thanks, thanks for Good. having me. Absolutely. I'm, we're excited to be here with you. And, um, you know, we've actually known you for many years. Yep. Uh, and we love coming into Eden and enjoying all the great food and, and uh, service. Yeah. And one thing that uh, a lot of people may not know is that you also love to give back to the community. I remember when Marie and I went to, uh, we attended a church in Magnolia, and it was a startup church, and you would open the doors for us, uh, not literally, but <laughs> allow us to come in yeah. and use the uh, restaurant. Yes, uh, you and I have seen uh, this area change a lot. Uh, back when 1488 was two lanes. Absolutely. So uh, we've uh, we've gone through a lot together, and uh, it's been great to see everything grow and new people come. And we're still meeting new customers after 13 years. If you believe that, I mean, I know you you can believe it because you're out there uh, in real estate and you know who's coming and going. But. Right. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, we have a new new uh, customer program here, and uh, I get introduced to any visitor who says it's my first time. Oh, okay. And I meet so many new people still, uh, and it's been over a decade, so it's exciting. Yeah, we wow. the church thing was uh, sort of like Maria and I. My wife's name is Maria, like mm -hmm. you. Uh, we, uh, we had a ministry, if you want to call it that, to where we 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 gave the building to startup churches, right. you know, help them. You know, not have to have that financial burden, burden at first, yeah. and it worked out because we had four churches that came through here. Okay. Before we had to change our hours and open up on Sundays, <laughs> uh, we got away with that for a long time. But you know, eventually you got to do what you got to do, and sure. But for as long as we were closed on Sundays, we gave the building to someone. I just gave the key to a pastor and said. You're responsible, and now that there's a higher landlord. <laughs> Good luck. We remember that. We remember yeah. that. Well, you know, another thing a lot of people may not may not know is that uh, you've got a heart heart for helping people, and uh, you've used you've volunteered your time and talents as an actor to help our brave servicemen and women and veterans. And yeah. can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, I um, I've always liked to perform. Uh, it's another passion of mine besides hospitality and cooking food, but. Uh, uh, some folks in my church started a ministry and they're doing some Christian films. Uh, that was a, it's a local ministry, Reflective Life Ministries. And um, Carla approached me and said, uh, you know, we, we, wanna, we, want, we want you to work with us. And we started doing some, some telling some stories. And uh, one of them uh, ended up being about a veteran coming home from Af Afghanistan with post-traumatic stress. Right. And they thought I could play the lead. So I took that responsibility and ran with it. I had no idea what I was getting into, just like our regular citizen doesn't really understand what our, our men and women go through, you know, right. uh, in the military or first responders or firefighters or police officers and the things they see when they're out there, the trauma they, they bring home. You just don't ask a paramedic at the end of his day, how was your day, honey? Right. You know, not after everything he's seen. So, uh, even though it started as a story about PTSD with a veteran, it it kind of morphed into many stories of other people that we learn we're also dealing with it. Gotcha. And uh, so, yeah, that was a very rewarding experience, a huge blessing to our family and everybody we touched. Uh, I know there's been thousands of people that have seen the film. And uh, a lot of them, uh, their lives have been changed by it. So That's awesome. we feel, you know, that it was a great thing. God took it and ran with it. Right. Um, uh, yeah, we are stronger. Has done very well beyond our our, our prayers and expectations for sure. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, we, you know, it's a tragedy and it's a it's a it's an epidemic, and we're losing a lot of guys every day to suicide. And that was our little little grain of effort to try to impact that you know 20 plus every day that are taking their lives I mean it's, oh, it's, yeah so it's so there's an episode series that has come out of that now where we're going to tackle different subjects that also have to do with trauma and the first one is teen suicide uh, and so that series we're going to shoot it in June 
and uh, you know, so that, that's also that's an great. epidemic in our community where our teenagers, you know, not knowing how to deal with the pressures of growing up. So sure. So sure. that the uh, the story continues. Well, good. Well, tell us, how did you get started in the restaurant business? Maria, uh, when I was in high school, a buddy of mine told me to uh, go with him to get a job washing dishes at a Marriott in Sugarland. Wow. And uh, I was in ninth, tenth grade, and I, I was washing dishes there at Texas Instrument uh, Company, Texas Instruments. Okay. They had a cafeteria yeah. rent by Marriott, right? And I was a the dishwasher there uh, for about four or five months. But I got the bug, and I never looked back. So you, you worked uh, your way up, literally. Yeah. Well, and then I got a job after high school at Papacitos back in the days when it was only one. And I learned the business at, with the Papa's family and just kept going from there. And uh, yeah, you're right. I've worked every position in the business. And uh, then tw 14 years ago, I said, I'm done working for other people. I'm just going to do this for myself. And awesome. Went to a bank, got a loan, and here we are. <laughs> well, what was it? Uh, what inspired you to create the concept that you have for Eden Cafe? Todd, I, 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 my menu is a reflection of where I've been in my career. So, you know, I don't know much about Asian fusion or uh, other <laughs> foods. So what you see on the menu is what I've done. It's the things that I know how to do. Now, the inspiration came from family history. Uh, you know, watching my, my mom, my grandmother cook all these spreads of food for tons of people at, at gatherings and family times. Um, their passion for just loving through through feeding or loving through cooking you know um, I also wanted to get away from the environment of the restaurant world where I was and create my own culture and that's what I think we've done here after 13 years I started I still got employees that started with me day one right wow Gabby's still with us you know yeah. my first hire her employee number is literally zero zero one <laughs> <laughs> so um, the restaurant uh, was just a, a, an idea that we wanted to have our own place that we could, you know, if I wanted to change chicken marsala, I could without without having to go through a bunch of culinary channels at corporate, that type oh, of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but also to create a concept where we knew families would feel safe and the employees would have a different uh, set of uh, values, core values and, and, and you know, and, and, and goals. And uh, we went for it. It wasn't always easy, but Mm -hmm. I think we've we've you know, made a name for ourselves out here. Absolutely, oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. What type of food do you currently serve, and do you see yourself adding more items to the menu? Yeah, our menu, Maria, as you know, is an international menu, so I have a little bit of everything. You know, pastas, um, seafood, some Tex-Mex specialties, some Cuban food from my my Cuban heritage, steaks. Um, entree salads we have it's a mix um, I will be adding some new things uh, I'm going to expand our steak section there's a menu coming out in a few weeks that has some really really cool stuff on it uh, we're keeping all the good heavy hitters you know? <laughs> our chicken marsala has been the number one seller for 12 years oh, I'm not like gonna I'm not gonna take that off the menu no you better not but we have a, you know we have a lot of things that like for example, we put it on the specials board and people come on that one day to taste, for example, uh, uh, crawfish etouffee. And they say things like, uh, you got to have this every day. Or the crab salad, for example. Mm -hmm. you know, it finally right. made the menu because it was only on Thursdays at the specials board. And people were like, I can't make it every Thursday, Ulysses, but I love this salad. So now it's on the menu. So those are the kind of things I'm playing with, ideas that became very popular on the board mm -hmm. that are now going to be just a, a permanent fixture of our menu. And, and then we look for more other stuff. I mean, the culinary world is endless. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. We're looking forward to that. Yeah. Uh, so do you offer any coupons or, or special discounts on certain days of the week? Todd, it we do. We do. Uh, we, we do things with wine. We do wines days okay. where I lose my mind twice a week and I, I give everybody uh, uh, you know the bottles on the on the wine list are half off 
Uh, so you can get so great half deals. Wines, you, yeah, half price wines on Mondays and Wednesdays. Wine days we call them, and um, everybody thinks I've you know I've, I've gone insane. Uh, but but you know you <laughs> you can get you know Jordan for under fifty bucks on those days. You know so. Wow. It's a great value. Um, I, I I don't mind doing that, so the community can come in and experience, you know, a little bit of a, a wine culture that we've created. Right. Um, uh, as far as uh, food and things of that nature, you know, I I think we're priced so. Uh, I I've, I've never wanted to price myself into a category that I'm competing with, you know, the fine dining places, and it's just too expensive. Right. to come here only uh, unless it's an occasion. Uh, what Maria Juan wanted to be, it was uh, the neighborhood restaurant where people could come three, four times a week, you know, and yep. the menu offers for you to come in, have a burger one day, pasta another, Tex-Mex the next, and yes. Cuban the last. So, uh, you know, on that, on that note, we wanted to keep it affordable, fair, but still be nice enough that, you know, people would bring their mom here on Mother's Day or or right. their celebration of their graduate because it's still nice enough to do that but not at that price point. The high price. So the specials are, you know, we give discounts to uh, senior citizens all year long, military all year long, teachers all year long, not just when school starts. Okay. So those are the types of things that are actually on the menu printed that we offer the community. Uh, and, and then the wine stays. Gotcha, gotcha. What else would you like everyone to know about Eden Cafe? Um, that we have been a family restaurant catering to families, that um, we have seen families here when they came with little ones, mm -hmm. and now you meet your kids here because they drive here while you're waiting <laughs> on them to get here. Right. Uh, that we have seen that part. We have seen other families uh, on their later years, mm -hmm. and that's both happy and, and sad, but that's the cycle of life. And that Eden's gonna be here for you know many more years still, because we're still young and we still got a lot in us. And uh, I have wonderful staff, and I, I think what really makes my business is the people, you know. The food is great, the food helps, it is great. but this is a people business, you know. Right. I don't right. think people come here just for our chicken marsala. They come here to see Gabby, they come here to see Carlos, they come here to see Sicily, you know. Those are the, that's what brings them in. It's the, the people so right. we're gonna keep that going I'm always gonna uh, nurture that culture that we have about that to, that sets us apart and uh, that they have a friend here you know I'm always here well great we well, listen so we definitely appreciate you taking time this morning to, to visit with us and uh, I know you're getting ready to open the restaurant this is the emptiest the restaurant will ever be <laughs> after, after the after the doors open right so, uh, but we thank you very much. Oh, you're very and, welcome. Uh, thank you, love Todd your restaurant. and Maria, for your friendship and for supporting us. And your kids have grown up with my kids. And it's, yeah. Absolutely. It's kind of a neat little community we have here. It is. It, really it is. is. Yeah. So, if uh, whether you're a regular of Eden Cafe or even if you've never had a chance to visit, stop in today, uh, have an outstanding meal, and uh, let Ulysses and his awesome team take care of you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.